Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be checking out how you can install Spigot 1.16.1, uh, how to download it, how to get your server set up, because I know a lot of people have trouble with this, so our 1.15 video got a few thousand views. I think it's at like 20,000, yeah, it's about 20,000 views, so thank you all for the support. Um, in the meantime, we're going to go over how to install 1.16.1. You can read all about this and what it did and all the changes and everything, but we're just going to go ahead and download it brand new from Build Tools. Now, if you don't know, Build Tools is the only legal way to download Spigot. All the jars that are online aren't really allowed. Um, there's a huge backstory to all that. You can go read about it and just look up Spigot DMCA era and you can read about it why you can't download it off the internet. But um, this is a professional way to do it. This is how to get the right jar, make sure nothing's been injected to it or anything. So we're going to go in and get started. So what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need this program called Git for Windows or Git for Mac. They have a bunch of different programs and stuff. The link to get the version for your computer will be down in the description. So just click that, download it. It makes it so it has a new command prompt where you can download stuff from github and git uh, lab and all of those so that's what you're going to need to do this you're also going to need the build tools jar you can get this by just clicking the link in the description it will auto download it for you and i'm just going to download it from this page which is the last successful build and i'm going to go ahead and keep this on my desktop all right so in order to set this up what we're going to do is we're going to just keep this to the side so i have the jar and we're going to just create a new folder on our desktop and you can name it whatever you want for me i'm going to name it 1.16 because that's what we're creating we're going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to drag in that build tools jar we just had into this folder just like that and i can get rid of this side now then if you have git installed properly when you right click you'll see git back here and git gui here before we do this i'm going to make one thing which is going to make our job a lot easier when we do our startup.bat or start.bat file click this little down arrow go to view and make sure file name extensions are clicked on that's going to make your job a lot easier when we go to create the next portion of this video. So then once this is in here, you're going to go in and right click, press git bash here, and it's going to open up this window. And you can see it's desktop 1.16. That's where we are right now. And we're just going to type this out. We're going to type Java and then dash jar build tools dot jar and then dash dash rev 1.16.1. Just like that. Make sure the build tools.jar here matches whatever your jar name is in here. So if you have like a number after your jar or something, make sure it matches. Either rename this or rename the jar. Go ahead and press enter. And you can see it's going to say starting clone of this, um, this line here. So that's actually going to start creating Spigot within your computer, which is pretty cool. So it's going to download everything off their uh, GitLab and GitHub s servers and then bring it into here, which is really cool. So it's just going to go ahead and download and install Spigot here. Um, it's going to build the source code. So you can see in here, it's actually building the source code to create it. So we're going to leave this running. This could take about five to 10 minutes, depending on how um, how much you have to install and your internet speed and everything. So that's going to be over here. Now we're going to go in and create our server and where our server is going to be. So we're going to create another folder and this server, I'm just going to name 1.16 server or something. And then inside this folder, we're going to create something called a start.bat, which actually runs our uh, spigot jar. Now, obviously, this is only if you're local hosting and if you're on a host or something, this is all built in. But we're going to create it anyway so you can see how it works. All right. So we're going to go ahead and create a new, but this time it's going to be a text document. But then you can see now that we have file name extensions, we have this .text at the end. So we're just going to rename the whole thing and name it start.bat and just go ahead and press yes. And you can see it's changed to a bat format. If we click it right now, it's going to say this app can't run on your PC because there's nothing in there yet. If you get a message even after we added the code saying it can't run on your PC, make sure your Windows is activated and your Windows is up to date. That's a common issue which a lot of people run into. Um, so just make sure you have all that stuff activated or it won't work at all. All right, so now inside of our start.bat, we're going to do something. So I recommend using Notepad++ for this, but you can open it with um, like, notepad or something like that but i do recommend notepad plus so plus we're gonna go ahead and open this with notepad plus plus and we're gonna go ahead and copy something in from the description of this video and i'm gonna go ahead and grab it right now <coughs> excuse me so i'm gonna go ahead and grab it right now from the description so you can see I'm going to paste this in. It's the start.bax text, and you can see I've pasted it in. It's actually going to say 1.16.1 now that you're down in the description, but um, this was for my old video. So go ahead and paste this in. And what this is going to do is it's going to just create a, it's going to launch the server off the 1.16 jar. Now let's say you want to change the RAM. Just change this icon here. So if I want it to be 100, 1 gigabyte, 1.5 gigabytes, just change that to 1.5. 
um, and obviously if you just want a 5.5 there you go so but I'm gonna make it 1.5 for this video and then just go ahead and save good to go all right close this out and then you can see over here our copying has success and it's done so we can go ahead and close this as well and you can see here is our spigot 1.16.1 jar so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this over here and I'm gonna rename it to match what we put in our start.bat so you can see this is the start.bat name so we're gonna go ahead and rename that so then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this matches what the jar name is. So you can see I got rid of the space between these. So we're going to go ahead and close out. And we're going to go ahead and rename this jar to match that. So I'm just going to get rid of the space between them. You don't need this build tools folder anymore, but it is useful since there's going to be a lot of updates for 1.16 in the coming weeks probably. So you can just rerun build tools every time you want to update 1.16. If you keep the build uh, files in here, it's going to take way less time to rebuild the jar, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just double click our start.bat and you can see it's loading libraries. Please wait so that you can see it's actually creating our server. And it's gonna say you need to accept the Lula file. So we're gonna go into the Lula and we're gonna go ahead and just change it to true. You can edit this with notepad or notepad plus plus, whatever you wish. Go ahead and save and then go ahead and press Y in here. So I made it so if it stops the server, it will ask you to press Y to restart it. If not, it will close it. So that's pretty cool. And you can see now it is loading up and it's, you can see this is popping up and I'll show you how to close this in a moment. But you can see we have actually started our uh, preparing spawn world and everything. So now it's actually building everything in our server. We have our plugins folder, our world folders, and it's actually just creating it. So we are ready to join. Now we're gonna go ahead and open Minecraft and just test this out. And then I'll go over how to close that second window. And you can see we're gonna open. So latest release 1.16.1, I'm gonna press play and it's gonna go ahead and start our Minecraft. And now in order to connect on locally, all we have to do is type local host. But if we're gonna connect remotely and your friends are gonna connect, you're gonna need a port forward. We have a video on port forwarding and it will be down in the description below, also linked in the comments section. So please watch that if you don't know how to port forward already. Um, if you don't, if you can't port forward, really your only option would be hosting on an external network, which means buying a host or doing something like that. All right, so you can see over here it says done, type how helpful help. Um, so this is done loading. Just make sure you keep this open. You can minimize it, but just keep it open. Otherwise your server will close. So that's another fun fact to know about. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and log in here and it's gonna take a minute. Uh, nice new loading screen Minecraft. This is the first time I'm actually running 1.16. So that's very interesting. Um, so while this loads up, I'll actually go over the GUI. So what we're going to do is to stop the server and type slack stop, and then it's going to actually close um, that window and it's going to close this window. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit our start.bat code a little, and I already have this in the description. So when you copy it, you don't have to do it. T dash no GUI. This will be in the description, by the way, so you won't actually have to do this, but just in case you missed it, there you go. All right. So then when you right click or left click, it will go ahead and start and you can see there's no second window opening up. So that is very useful. All right, well, Minecraft loads, um, which it's not loading. I'm gonna go ahead and pause and I'll be back once I get into the game. Well, after trying for the past 15 minutes, I still can't get into Minecraft, which is really unfortunate. So I'm gonna actually show you how I can connect on a lower version um, and we'll go from there. And I'm not gonna be able to connect, connect because it won't let me, but I will go ahead and show you how you can just jump in and you can um, see that it is online and how you connect to the server anyway. Uh, I do apologize for that. Don't know why my Minecraft um, is not working. I am gonna fix that later, hopefully. Uh, but you can see 1.14 loaded fine. So if I go ahead and if you wanted to connect, you would just have to type localhost into your server address bar. And when you join the server, it'll, you'll go ahead and join. And you can see this is an outdated server because it's on 1.16.1, but sadly I can't even launch 1.16.1, so I can't join. But if you were on 1.16.1, you would join perfectly fine. So that is how you create a server. I do apologize I wasn't able to hop in and show you. If you want to opt yourself on the server, just type opt your username and we'll go ahead and opt your ser server username and you can use commands like creative, survive, uh, all of those good things and obviously to install plugins you just drag them into your plugins folder and they'll go ahead and load up when you start so hopefully this did help you learn how to install spigot and get your server running if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments below all of the updated start.bat for this video are also down in the description all right thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time